All right, so now you might be asking, okay, Patrick, what does this look like on a test net or a live network? So let's go ahead, let's go to our .env file and let's update this so that it's a .env file for an actual test net. So the first thing is we're gonna need an RPC URL for an actual test net, for an actual network. And this is where in our MetaMasks actually have Infura connections built in. Remember before we went to our settings, networks, Ethereum main net, we saw, oh, we saw we have this Infura connection. We can't use this one because this one's designed specifically for our MetaMask. So we're gonna have to get our own RPC URL for an actual test net. Well, one of the things we could do is we could run our own blockchain node, but a lot of people don't wanna do that. So what a lot of people do is use something called a node as a service. To do this, what I'm gonna recommend you do is actually come over to the Foundry Full Course repo, scroll down, and there's gonna be a section called deploying to a testnet or a mainnet. If we click this link, we'll actually go ahead and we'll get sent to the Alchemy platform where we're gonna sign up for a free node as a service that we can actually send transactions to. And we're gonna go ahead and sign up for their platform. You can sign up with Google, sign up with SSO, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Google. I'm indeed human. And we're gonna to come to their user interface that looks something like this. We're gonna deploy this to Sepolia, but remember, go to the recommended testnet section of this course. So what we're gonna do now that we're in here is we're gonna go ahead and create a new app. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it Sepolia Testing. I'm just gonna copy this for our description. This is on the Ethereum chain, but on Ethereum Sepolia. We're not gonna do any advanced features. We'll go ahead to create app. And now we have this Ethereum Sepolia app where we can view details. We can see how often we're calling this and we can see different details about our node. And if we hit view key, we see we have this HTTPS endpoint. And this is gonna be the exact same thing as that Anvil or Grenache or MetaMask endpoint that we saw. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And back in our main V, what we could do is we, we can create a new RPC URL called Sepolia. RPC URL equals, and we'll paste that in here. Now we have an RPC that points to an actual test net. With our private key, we can't use this as our private key because this is an Anvil private key. and It doesn't have any real money in it, and it doesn't have any test net ETH in it. But what we can do is instead, we can use our one of our private keys in our MetaMask. So if we switch back to Sepolia in our MetaMask, we can pick one of our accounts that actually has some money in it. I'm gonna pick account number one, We'll hit the three little dots, account details, export private key. And remember, it's okay for me to show the private key here because this is just a dummy private key, but I'll add my password in. And remember, I'm never gonna actually do any real moneying with this. And I'll copy this, hit done, and paste this in here. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll comment this line out. In .env file, this hashtag or this pound sign is what the comment is. But maybe we'll do a new private key equals, and I'll paste this in here. And now I have the private key from MetaMask. I have the RPC URL. And those are all I need to actually deploy a transaction. So what I can do now, pull my terminal back up. So we're gonna run this command to actually deploy this to a real testnet from our foundry using Alchemy as our node as a service. And you'll see in the user interface of Alchemy, you'll see a transaction actually come through our node. This is us sending a transaction to a real node and we'll be able to see the stats here on our Alchemy dashboard. So let's go ahead, let's do this again. So first we're gonna need to run source.env to make sure all of our .env stuff is loaded. Then we're gonna run forge script script deploy simple storage.s.sol and I'm hitting tab to autocomplete here dash dash rpc url sepolia rpc url with the little dollar sign dash dash private key, dollar sign private key, dash dash broadcast. If you don't add the dash dash broadcast, it won't actually send it, it'll simulate sending it. Now, if I hit enter, we'll see it compile. And now we're running this script, deploy simple storage.s.sol, which actually deploys it. And we'll see, we went ahead and deployed our contract simple storage on the Sepolia chain, we see all these details about it. It's sending the transaction right now. It's storing the latest run under the broadcast folder under its chain ID in here in this run latest.json. And after a brief delay, we'll see it went through. And what we can do is we can grab this hash, go over to 
sepolia.etherscan.io, paste that hash in here, and we'll see we actually successfully sent a transaction. And if we click on our contract address we just created, we'll see we actually just created this contract on a real testnet. If we go back to our Alchemy dashboard and we hit refresh, we'll see we actually sent, we sent some requests. If we scroll down, we can see some of the different requests we sent. ETH send raw transaction was the request that we sent to actually send our transaction to the blockchain, but we also got some stuff about the chain ID, fee history, et cetera.